Man, I tell you what, this Strix Rogue mic, it looks awesome. I love it, especially with that boom arm on it. Oh yes, can never have enough RGB, guys. Can never have enough. Never enough. <laughs> so when I originally ordered these T-Virus Reservoirs, I ordered six of them, and they came in this, like, styrofoam thing and as you can see I only got three left so I may have to put another order in for the virus reservoirs I really like them they're a great reservoir they don't leak they have a nice aesthetic and you can uh, change them out too so I just kind of wanted to mention that thought it was worth bringing up so someone sent me this and I thought we would open it and take a look at it. I don't even know what it is. So let's do it. Roll the intro. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this came today in the mail and it it came in like uh, from China um, all it says is it's a two lock repair set 24 piece blue and this diagram here shows like a lock and like it being picked so <laughs> I don't know let's open it let's let's see what this is I'm really curious make sure to leave me a like on this video guys and comment below if you got something to say about this, um, I, I I don't I don't know. I was really surprised to see uh, the UPS driver come up the driveway because I wasn't expecting any packages. Quick user guide. Quick user guide to what? What is it? It's a lock pick set. Oh, are you serious? That's what this is? It's a lockpick set? Why would someone send me this? What's in here? Let's see here. Let's open this up. Um, let's see here. Whoa. can like you can see through it that's interesting you can see the way oh you can see the way the key goes in there and pushes all of those little pins up so I guess this is like a training lock so you can see what you're doing or learn how to pick one but I guess that's what the inside of a lock looks like. That's cool, I guess. Uh, what's in this one? Um, I know this much. Uh, you probably don't want to carry this around with you. It can be considered as burglary tools. Um, so I wouldn't carry this in your car. Um, what in the world is this? This is a different style of lock, huh? Oh, I bet this is like what you would put in a, in a door. I guess these are different styles, like maybe this one's different than this one. The keys look the same, everything looks the same. What's this thing in the middle here? Oh. When I rotate that, the keys rotate. I wonder if that's like, like when you do that, it, it, it engages the lock to lock the door. Hmm, so I guess these are practice pieces, like so you can learn it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, and what's in here? Let's see here. Well, it's a nice pouch, whatever it is. 
Let's open it. Ooh, it's blue. Well, they definitely got the colors right. Jeez, look at all these different tools in here. Wow, man, these they look like like torture devices or something. It's kind of a cheap set. They feel they feel cheap kind of, but I mean I guess if they do the job, they do the job, huh? What do we got in here? All of these different styles of like rakes, I guess, and picks and stuff. And uh, these are probably like your tensioner bars or something. Uh, I mean, I guess they, I guess they do different things. I don't know. If you guys know, you know, uh, comment below. Tell me like what, what do some of these things do? This is kind of interesting. I guess it's meant to like push things up maybe hmm I'm gonna have to do some googling and find out what these do exactly um, I know this much this is going to stay home in my garage and stay there in case like I don't know I lock myself like I can't get a padlock open or something or lock the keys in my car what in the world is this thing looks kind of like a tuning fork but I don't think it is it's has to be some kind of tension tool or something right yeah it has to be a tensioner or, or, or something uh, there's no instructions I mean well there is kind of but they they really don't tell me too much they mainly just oh wait a minute here we go Rake one, shallow half diamond, rake two, pick, key extender, steep half diamond, rake pick three, hook pick two, wrench one, wrench, wrench Y, Y, y wrench. Okay. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of a good trade to learn. Well, I guess it does kind of explain how to do it. Really? Well, this is kind of interesting. Um, kind of scary because I don't have a need for a lockpick set. But at the same time... Whoa, don't drop it. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's kind of cool looking. You know, no wonder why people can break into things easy. Look at that. All that fits in that little tiny pouch. And you can, like, neatly... Uh, fits in your pocket. See that? It's about the size of my hands. Probably about the size of a phone. Yeah, it's about the size of a... Of, like, a, an iPhone 11 or something. I mean, it would be on the bigger side of a phone, but it's not very big. I mean, maybe a pocketbook about the size of a woman's wallet. I mean, that's that's little. Wow. So this is really cool. Um, if whoever sent this to me, if you would please leave a comment below telling me that you sent this to me. If you happen to see this video, obviously you're a, a fan or a subscriber of my channel. Um, perhaps you were wanting me to do something with these. I don't know. Um, let me know below what you guys think about this. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit shocked, but also kind of fascinated. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think below. This isn't my normal stuff. I usually do computers and technology. And I guess in a sense, this is technology. This is a type of hacking, if you would. You know, we have computer hackers that basically hack their way through digital locks, um, except for these are mechanical locks, and these are mechanical hacks, which is cool. So, leave me a like, subscribe if you're new, make sure to share this video on Facebook, guys. Thank you for watching. Y'all be cool.